how do I estimate the number of atoms in my body? Fantastic. So we could say let's focus on the most uh, abundant uh, component, which is water. And then on water, we could start doing something. OK, what do we do with the water? How do I connect it to the number of uh, water atoms I have in the body? Like, remember from last time, we said, you know, very like here we want to move again from the macroscopic world, you know, the world of the body, to the world of atoms, the microscopic world. Usually the, you know, the, uh, what is it called, wormhole or whatever, like things that moves you from this universe to that universe, the Avogadro number is like the, yeah. the door to take it from this world to that world. And there, you just have to think, how do I connect these things, right? So you could connect it by knowing, OK, this thing, you could know this weighs, uh, in terms of mass of water, it's 18 Dalton. How do I know that? Because this is 16, and this is twice 1. OK, so I got 18 Dalton. Um, OK, we'll get to it in a minute. And now I need to look from the other direction at the weight of a person. And now this wouldn't be in Daltons. How much is the weight of a person? So I know 70 kilos, right? OK, so now I want to do the following. This is the weight of the overall water. I'm interested in the weight. I want to go with the number of atoms. So I want to know the mass of an atom. How much is the mass of, you know, the average mass of an atom in terms of Daltons? Yeah, so we could divide it by three. I would say it's about 10 Daltons. And the mass of a person, let's turn it into a, a hundred kilograms. Okay, how do we connect between the Daltons and the kilograms? Okay, so in order to do that, let's first convert it to grams, okay? Because the grams and Daltons is what usually speaks with each other. So 10 to the 2 gra kilograms, that's 10 to the 5 grams. Okay? And now what's the connection between gram and Dalton? That's the Avogadro number. So the... Uh, number of moles in a human is the mass of a human divided by the mass of the atom. This is about 10 to the 5 grams divided by 10 Dalton, which is actually uh, in terms of units, 10 Daltons is, I think, 10 grams per mole. That's what I was missing. OK, look what I did now. OK, it's, these calculations that could be really confusing. And very often, what really helps me, if I can, is if I can follow the units. This is actually a complicated example to do it, so not the perfect example. So those of you who get it, that's great. And those of you who not, don't worry, we'll come, we'll come back to it. Maybe at some point it will make more sense. But Dalton is like the number of grams per mole. OK? And then when I write it this way, then I say, ah, grams and grams, that's fantastic. 10 to the 5, 10 to the uh, 1, meaning 10 to the 4. And I see I'm left with number of moles. OK, so I got the number of moles. So each one of us is 10,000 moles. OK. What does that mean about the number of atoms in a human? So that's 10 to the 4 moles times the number of atoms in a mole. You might remember it. How much is that? Yeah, so this 6 ta, 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 times 10 to the 23, which we agreed that at least for our course, it's good enough to think about as 10 to the 24. And therefore, we're getting about that each one of us is about 10 to the 28 atoms. 